So, Commander Talora, the lead Arkin vessel is hailing again. There is nothing to discuss. Arkin vessels are breaking through our lines. Commander Yervek's position is vulnerable. Have the query off in our task force fall back to coordinates 010 mark 114. Arkin flagship is hailing. It's General Morgu. Target the source of that transmission and open fire! Main power down, Commander. Auxiliary backup coming online. Move us out of their weapons range. Enemy forces have overrun the Kraryov's position. We must close the wormhole. All of our attempts to do so have failed, Commander. Then keep attempting! <laughs> have all the ships returned to the Zeta Voltana system. We'll form a new perimeter there. Aye, sir. Commander, incoming transmission from General Morigu. Put it up. Commander Talora, there's no need for the bloodshed to continue. If you surrender now, I can guarantee you fair terms. We have a thousand ships about to come through the wormhole. I urge you to reconsider. Your urgings are useless, General. We have only begun to fight. Withdraw immediately. Helm, come about and prepare to jump to warp. Best possible speed to Zeta Voltanis. Kalis pera kali nixta posone, katala veno pu ine, tua leta toba o lutro krasi sabako, kali mera. Marshal Sir, the Grand Marshal requests your presence at once. Thank you, Vito. I will be right there. O oh, great ones, lend me your strength today. Grand Mahjan, I'm here. You were in the temple again, child? Yes, Mother. I was asking the Great Ones for strength during this time of crisis. The Great Ones will smile upon you, Sarum. And they will smile on all of the Arkin Empire, for they have given us everything we need and more. The Great Ones give every bird its food, but they do not throw it into its nest. We must go and take what we need, what is rightfully ours. No, sir. We do not take. Your voice failed to learn that in your teachings. They want the Arkans to flourish. We will not take by force. To do so is against the Great One's spirit. Of course, Mother. Do you have any news of our exploration of the neighboring galaxy? Our artificial wormhole terminates exactly where we planned. 
in an entirely uninhabited area of space. We can begin colonization very soon. The Great Ones will be pleased. Thank you, my child, for guiding our people until I can return to my place of public service. Anything for you, Mother. All of our attempts to close the wormhole have failed. It doesn't even register on sensors unless ships are emerging. We tried everything we could think of, including a concentrated burst of Thaleron radiation. It kills everyone on their ships, but they just keep sending more. What do we know about the Arkans? Our communications have been limited. They're determined to have our surrender. I believe Romulan territory may only be the beginning of their campaign. They have the advantage of numbers on their side. We just haven't built our forces up to pre-Dominion war levels yet. The Klingons have entered Romulan space, and their help has been significant in restricting the Arkans to two sectors. But as long as they keep sending ships through, our position will continue to weaken. The wormhole must be destroyed. At the request of your government, Starfleet dispatched our most advanced probe, the Iliad, to attempt to gain reconnaissance on the wormhole. Lieutenants Astor and Rowe have been going over the data. Gentlemen? Our findings are still preliminary, but we've managed to obtain a few key pieces of information. The Arkans artificially created the wormhole, suggesting a high level of technology well beyond anything we possess. Its terminus lies somewhere in the Andromeda galaxy. Unfortunately, only the Arkans can trigger it. We need to learn how to do that. We may not need to. Explain. After our recent discoveries with the tetrahedrons in hyperdimensional physics, we went back and took a look at the quantum slipstream project. The biggest problem was the stability of slipstreams over great distances. Hyperdimensional physics gives slipstream the necessary stability and speed required to get to Andromeda. Surprising the Arkans on their home soil has many advantages. We would need a combined fleet. It will be risky. We calculated we only have enough tetrahedron material available for two to three intermixed chambers. We cannot fight a war with three ships. We need reconnaissance on these people. We have another Iliad probe. If we can equip it with a slipstream drive and a Romulan cloaking device, that is our best course of action. Considering this is a Romulan affair, a Romulan probe would be more appropriate for the task, Admiral. There may be a problem. In simulations, Romulan propulsion systems and their artificial singularities interacted with the slipstream, causing a cascade failure. Proconsul, it would appear the Romulans will have to sit this one out. Commander Talora, see that a cloaking device is delivered immediately. Hey. I reserved a hollow suite. You did? Ryzen Solar Convergence. An afternoon of sun, sand, water, and relaxation. <sighs> that does sound good. <laughs> good. I knew there was a reason I married you. Well, there'll be more of that on Ryza. Well, the holodeck version of it, anyway the next best thing until we can celebrate our honeymoon properly. You know, I'd love to, Corey. It's just, I told Admiral Nabb to have these probe specs done by the end of the day. Well, there's only one thing to do then. Help you finish. Milady, this is an honor. To what do we owe the pleasure of your visit? We have to speed up our plans. The singularity formation is increasing. One of the Kelvin moons was completely swallowed yesterday. 
The entire sector is in jeopardy. The Romulans are using Thaleron radiation against us. If we cannot find a countermeasure, our advances will halt. I don't care if we have to send every one of our ships through that wormhole. I want Romulan space ready for colonization. I recommend against leaving the home world vulnerable like that. If the Kelvin resistance should choose that moment to strike... They will do no such thing. This entire quadrant will be uninhabitable in a decade. Our holdings here are worthless. If you cannot deliver results in the new frontier, I can replace you. If you allow me to do my job, I can deliver those planets to you on a platter. But I need more time. And I need the scientists to come up with a countermeasure for the radiation. I like you more, you. Most men would have curled up into a little ball. I don't know if you're foolish or a genius. I'll give you those scientists. Give me something to show for them. If one is truly wise, it is sometimes advantageous to appear a fool. The Iliad probe was able to make a complete scan of the surrounding area. If there are any other gateways, they're not within 20 light years. If we remove the gateway, we solve the problem. What's to stop them from building another one? We'll deal with that later, but on our terms. We should destroy their planets while we still have the advantage. There's no telling what they're capable of. Our primary objective is to destroy the wormhole. Subsequent recon will determine where we go from there. How do we destroy the gateway? It's protected by heavy shielding and a dense hole that appears to be composed of duramite. What about the tricobalt device? You're not going to make a dent in it. Would a cloaked ship or the Iliad probe be able to slip in and deliver a warhead? How do we get inside the complex? We could drop it on their doorstep. Sensors around the complex are too good. A cloaked ship will be detected. We need a Trojan horse. Trojan horse? Earth history, Proconsul. We need our warhead disguised as something they want. I have an idea. Once a day, they get a supply shipment, unmanned. How do we get one of those? We don't have to. Commander? We already have the photonic signature of the cargo ship from the probe sensor logs. Commander, you are not at liberty to reveal secrets of the Romulan Empire. This is no time for secrets. We must utilize all our resources, Probe Council. The Hollow Cloak is the best and safest option for this mission. Probe Council, Commander, this is no place to discuss Romulan internal affairs. If you have something to add to the discussion... We do. We've developed a new kind of hollow cloaking device. It works on the subatomic level. Meaning? We can project something onto the cloaking device, but it's not just a projection. You could walk right up to it, touch it, and swear it was the real thing. I think we just found our supply ship. Proconsul? Begin installation on the Iliad probe right away. One more thing, if I may. Commander? The ship that delivers the probe, it will need to be cloaked. General Korg ship? No. Klingon cloaking devices are not sufficient in their masking patterns. It must be a Romulan cloaking device. I reluctantly concur. And then all we need is a Federation ship with slipstream, a cloak, and a little bit of luck. Monsieur, excuse the intrusion. General Margaret brings news. Cacus, go play with your little friend. Good news, I trust. We've taken another Romulan system and sent probes out to two adjacent sectors. Prepare the first of the colony ships. We do have control of those systems, but the Romulans possess advanced cloaking technology. I can't guarantee the safety of a colony ship. Not yet. I want those colony ships dispatched. If you cannot meet the deadlines, I can oversee the operations myself. 
With respect, Mahjan, you're needed here. I will not follow orders from you or anyone else, General. I have served your mother for many years, and I've served you as well, out of respect for her. But I will not have my hands tied by impossible deadlines. Two weeks, not a day more. Dismissed. One last thing, Mahjan, about the boy. What of him? He spent the evening in your bedchambers again. What business is that of yours? Does he know the truth? He knows enough. A neurosis is a secret that you do not know you are keeping. I suggest you do not concern yourself with matters that are none of your business. It would be unfortunate if you were to learn the truth. Very unfortunate. Cacus, come. Yes, sir? You are greater than any great one, Cacus. Remember that. I will. I told you not to order that pina colada. Oh, I guess I lost my stomach again. Well, you did have four of them. You were out the rest of the afternoon. I missed the convergence again. It's all right. Gave me some time to catch up on my reading. After we submit the reports to the Admiral, I promise to make it up to you. Enter. What do you have, gentlemen? The probe is ready. We've equipped it with a tri-cobalt warhead. Good work. Thank you, sir. Sir, we were hoping to get back to our honeymoon. It was cut short. I'm sorry, gentlemen, but I have orders for you. We're sending out two ships on a surgical mission to destroy that gateway. I need you to oversee the slipstream drives. We've equipped General Korg's flagship, the Rakog, with one, and we're putting the other one on the Odyssey. Roe, you'll be on the Odyssey. Aster, the Rakog. Commander Talora is already on the Odyssey, supervising the installation of the cloaking device. She'll be an observer. Get your gear and report by 1700 hours. Aye, Aye sir. sir. When you get back, you can have all the vacation time you want. Mr. Aster, Captain Shelby has granted you extended leave from your engineering duties on the Excelsior. You've certainly earned it, gentlemen. Dismissed. Two weeks there, two weeks back. Okay, so we can be back on Ryzen in just over a month. That's not so bad. A month, then just us. What time is it? 16.30. We could do it, you know. We've done it before. Computer, Habitat Level 12. Oh, Corey Nevin, I thought I'd find you guys here. Hi. I'm so excited, I just heard the news. They're putting Slipstream Drive on the Odyssey. Now, if I wasn't up to my neck in personal assignments, I'd offer to give you guys a hand. Oh, well. News travels fast. That's very kind of you, but... Uh... Well, I suppose I do have a few minutes. Well, we could go over power distribution, hard point, slipstream, threshold, algorithm. We really need to pack. We just have a few weeks, and then it's off to Ryza. Sure, of course. But, you know, just in case, I did up this reference chart based on some of Wesley's slipstream research. I just <laughs> Thank thought maybe... you, Commander. That was really thoughtful. Because, you know, a lot could go wrong. We'll be careful. Good luck, Corey. I'll see you in a month. Okay. Thanks, Commander. All right, okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Bye. 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 <laughs> Time. 16.40. We've got 10 minutes. A month is too long. Oh. I don't want to see your molecules all over the slipstream, so don't even think about beaming over. A shuttle? Oh, not a chance. Grab a metric shear. I love being married to an engineer. Oh, I love being married to a science officer. You know, you talk too much during sex. Hey, you started it. I'm just going to shut up now. <laughs> Oh, 
How are we going to explain to the captain that we missed the 1650 transport? The truth. Right. What, do you think I'm kidding? <laughs> I think you better let me do the talking. I think you should let me handle this. Why is that? Because neither of you are likely to impress the captain if you say what you're planning. How betazoid of you. Lieutenant Maya Stadi, Chief of Security, at your service. A pleasure. Since you already know who we are, I suppose a formal introduction is unnecessary. Not at all. I wasn't reading your minds. Your body language said it all. In that case, Lieutenant Commander Roe Nevin, Science and Slipstream Specialist. Lieutenant Commander Corey Astor, I'm just here for the day. Huh. A shame. I'm rather looking forward to the Odyssey. Allegiance class. She's a beauty. In fact, there she is now. Excelsior's faster. Not when I'm done with her. Lieutenant Maya Stadi, reporting as ordered, sir. Lieutenant Commander Roe Nevin. Lieutenant Commander Corey Astor, I'm just here for the day. You're late. Uh, sonic shower malfunction. I don't want to hear it, Lieutenant. Romulans and Klingons are dying right now. They've asked for our help, and we are not going to let them down. Yes, yes sir. What was that? Yes, yes sir. Commander Stephen Connor, XO. Captain Telek is in a tactical meeting with some of our allies. Stadi, that was a meeting you were supposed to be in 10 minutes ago. Conference room, now. Aye, sir. Subcommander Talora is waiting for you boys in engineering. Aye, sir. Aye, sir. Dismissed. You didn't connect the secondary intermix buffer correctly, Ensign. You will have to do it again. Yes, sorry, ma'am. If the warhead signature isn't properly masked, the cloak will be worthless. It won't happen again, Commander. Ah, gentlemen, I was wondering when you'd get here. We have a lot of work to do. Commander Astor, I've read all about your work. It's such an honor. I'm Ensign Joshua Gillen. Astor, I need you to reconfigure the sensor relays to work with the new cloak. Ro, Mr. Gillen will need your help with the slipstream. Commander, may I have a moment? Commander, I understand that you are the expert in this field, but you are an observer, correct? That's right, your point. I appreciate your enthusiasm and have nothing but respect for your service record. But I am the ranking Starfleet officer and I need you to follow the chain of command. I have been given the full backing of your superiors in this matter, Lieutenant. This is a Romulan cloaking device and I'm the one most qualified to instruct on its installation. Is there a problem here? Captain. What's the status of the integration? I, I was, was trying, trying to, to Mr. Rowe is in charge here. Go ahead, Commander. We're looking at 11 to 12 hours, assuming we don't have any problems with the cloak. There won't be. The sooner, the better. That will be all. If you don't mind, I have work to do. Tell of the storm-tossed man, O oh Muse, who wandered long after he sacked the sacred citadel of Troy. Captain Telek, you were charged with an equally difficult task. For the good of our allies, and for the good of our future, we wish you Godspeed in your mission to sack the ability of our enemy to wage war and restore peace to us all. Congratulations, Captain, the ship is yours. Congratulations, Mr. Rowe. I only regret I was unable to attend Captain Neshtar's passing rite. He was an honorable warrior. He would have been proud to hear you say that, sir. Mr. Astor, I shall see you on the cog. Aye, sir. Kapla, Rowe Nevin. Prepare for departure. I guess I better get going. Transfer to room. All right. You be careful with those Klingons. And remember to avoid the Gak. 
<laughs> I'll be fine. You keep an eye on that Romulan woman. I think you're gonna have your hands full. I think I can handle Talora. I'll see you in a few weeks. Odyssey to Ricard. Prepare to receive one. Clear all moorings. Moorings are clear. All stations have reported in. Engineering. One quarter power to the impulse engines. Hi, impulse power online. Power is available through warp and slipstream velocities. Thank you, Chief. Take us out, Mr. Wozniak. Aye, sir. Clear, Captain. General Korg is signaling to move into position. Helm, Lena Corsair Andromeda. Prepare for maximum slipstream velocity. See you on the other side, Captain. Safe journey, General. Engage on my mark. Three, two, one. Mark. Time to eat, Mother. You are a good girl, Sarah. But you should not be here. Your place in my absence is leading our people in the new frontier. But who will care for you? Vito has been my trusted servant long before you were born. General Morrigue is more than capable. Do not worry, child. I am dying. And you must lead our people now, so they will accept you when I am gone. Tomorrow you join General Morrigan. Yes, Mother. Commander, let's try not to destroy our means of getting home before we actually get there. It is not my fault your interface is making it impossible to align with the slipstream harmonics. Romulan design is much more efficient. Omega Decay Report, Chief. Thank you, Mr. Rowe. I'll be back at 2200 after dinner with the command staff. I know it must be hard being here on a Federation ship. Sympathy. Is that your new tactic, Commander? I couldn't help but hearing your frustration. You can keep your sympathy. The sooner this mission is over, the better. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but I have an offer. We may be your allies, and we may be in need of your assistance. But Romulans were not meant to serve on Federation starships or under Lieutenant Commanders, no less. It is an insult to my rank, and I have work to do. Are you all right, Commander? It is none of your concern. Are you Vaughn? Commander. I didn't hear you come in. If I didn't know you were a Romulan, I'd say you were looking a bit green. You didn't seem the type for space sickness. Let's have a look. Space sickness never seemed to bother me before now. Hmm. Uh, 
You're not space sick, you're slipstream sick. I've had six other people in here complaining of it. Elevated heart rate, lung activity, and neurosenoprine levels. Being on a Federation starship probably isn't helping. Headache? Little. I can treat you for the motion sickness, but you'll have to get your ocular implant refocused when we get back. How did you know I had an ocular implant? The elevated neurosenoprine levels tell me two things. One, you're suffering from a connectivity problem with motion sensors in your inner ear. Two, it's the neurons in your implant that are causing the headaches. I've treated enough Romulans to know that the implants are the most likely culprit. The implants are rare, granted only to those involved in critical missions. Certainly a coincidence you came across more than one Romulan with this enhancement. They're designed to be undetectable with conventional scanning devices. What else do you know about these implants? They're designed to improve your vision beyond 2020, but are less concerned with personal comfort. I don't have the equipment on board to refocus your implant, but I gave you something for the pain. Just be sure to get it sorted when we get back to Deep Space 12. When did you treat other Romulans? I did my medical residency on Starbase 395. Near the Romulan neutral zone? The station commander often exchanged personnel with the Romulan staging forces during the wars. My ship, the Venering, called there many times during the war. We probably crossed paths. I was still in the academy during the Dominion Wars, but perhaps during the Tholian conflict. We helped out where we could. All this cooperation. We are unaccustomed to outside assistance. The Romulan Empire has always been able to take care of itself. My ancestors fought hard to defend our home when the English conquered Wales. We didn't have the friends that you do to help us, so Wales fell to the English. There's no shame in asking your friends for help. Friends. Humans use the word loosely. Considering the alternative, I'm reluctantly forced to agree. This mission must succeed. Status report. We're five minutes from Ark in space. The cloak is online and functioning normally. I want to know the second we might be detected. Parameters configured for the supply ship. Matrix at 98% efficiency. Let's give it a try. Shouldn't we wait for Subcommander Talora, sir? It'll either work or it won't, Ensign. Bring the Matrix online. Matrix stabilized, sir. Bring us out of Slipstream, Helm. General Korg is signaling to begin the attack. Launch the probe. Warhead is away. ETA, four minutes. Ready for departure, Majan Serum. At your convenience, General. All, All stations, stations stand, stand by, by to enter, enter the wormhole. Janon, move within range of the gateway, and then hold for gateway control. I've prepared your quarters, Sarah. Thank you. Go there and wait for me. Yes, Marjan. Probing missions are normal. Matrix at 97% efficiency. The probe is approaching the docking zone. We're in. I think I've located the central power plant. Sending you the navigational data now, Commander. I have it. Maneuvering the probe. The probe is a bit sluggish. Could be due to a lag in communication through the gateway center. Can you boost our signal? Increasing the signal to higher bands. General, I'm picking up communication protocols in the alpha band. We don't use those bands. Trace the signal. Right away, General. The signal's coming from those coordinates, about 100 kilometers from the gateway. But there's nothing there. Unless. Unless it's cloaked. Direct a wideband tachyon sweep at those coordinates, now! We're being bombarded with intense tachyon bursts. The cloak. Stable, but the Klingon cloak may not be. Captain, the Rakog!
cloak is offline. Four enemy ships are headed this way. Battle at last. Now is not the time for battle. Our mission is incomplete. Elm, set your base of course. We need to buy the Odyssey more time. 55 seconds to warhead detonation. Arkan battleships approaching the Rakog's position. One Klingon battle cruiser. They're not a match for us. How did they get here? Scan for others. We'll intercept the Klingons in about two minutes. What is that supply ship doing near our reactor core? There's an energy buildup on that supply ship. Destroy it! Secure that reactor core. Now! Three, two, one. Negative impact. The probe detonated too soon. The timing was perfect. The Arkans destroyed it. Shield damage, General. Rotating shields to compensate. I can't bring the cloak back online. Odyssey reports the probe has been destroyed. Time for a strategic retreat? The cloak is offline. They were able to chase the command signals to our location. Their battleships are splitting up. Two headed this way. Sir, I've analyzed the blast. The complex is vulnerable. This may be our only chance to finish this. Helm, take us in and prepare a full torpedo spread. Torpedoes won't penetrate the outer hull in time, but a detonation of the slipstream core might. Their power plant operates on a hyperdimensional energy source. The only thing we have on board that operates on that level... right. It's the only way. We'll have to transport the core almost on top of the power plant. Bring General Korg up to speed, Stadi. Helm, take us in. Generators on deck 12 have been destroyed, General. Our slipstream drive has been damaged. Warp engines are down. Open a channel to the Odyssey. We've been severely damaged, Captain. It would seem both our crews are destined for Stovo Corps this day. Not both. Take your ship through the wormhole. No, Captain. Use our slipstream core instead. It is useless to us. It won't work, General. It has to be an active core. There's nothing more that you can do, General. Now go while you still can. Good luck to you, Odyssey. Transport the core. We're detecting some transporter activity. Some kind of high yield energy signal. Sir. Bridge to engineering, report! The, the Chief's dead, sir. I need warp drive, Ensign. I need it now! Aye, sir. Talora, I need that cloak. I don't see how. It's fused in three places. Do what you can. I want them alive. They're not going anywhere. With their cloak and their warp drive damaged, we will have them. I need to operate right away. What's your status, Gillen? Almost, sir. The power transfer conduits are slightly out of alignment. We can't risk... Yes, we can! 
Bring it online, Ensign. Five more ships falling in behind the four are already pursuing us. We'd be better off chipping a large black sheet over the hull. Can you hand me the Pipo Spanner? Live plasma, Ensign, says so on those little brown stickers you people like to put on everything. That should do it. Activate the intermix flow regulator. Intermix chamber reading normal. Go into bridge. Warp drive online. Helm, maximum warp. Go! They're getting away. Pursuit course, pilot. Engage engines. They must be angry. Four ships following. To Laura, the cloak. Two more, Mr. Rowe. Get it done. Breaking it obviously isn't working. Have you tried swearing at it? That didn't work either. There's a short in the matrix relay, and I'm going to find it. You stay put. With damage to the warp engines, we can only maintain the speed for an hour. Once they're in weapons range. Understood. Stata, you have the bridge. I'll be in sick bay. Aye, sir. I've done all I can. Well, I'm sorry, son. Sorry to have to do this to you. Before you're ready. Sir? You are in command now, son. Get this ship. Get this crew home. I will, sir. Rotor bridge, report. Gravimetric distortion ahead, sir. We can't pinpoint the source. I'm on my way. Engineering to bridge. The warp field's becoming unstable. I think it's the gravimetric shear. I'm not sure how long the warp bubble will hold. Acknowledged, engineering. Commander, we have a new problem. Tell me something good, Stadi. We've got bad guys behind us, something scary in front of us. Oh, and warp drive could fail at any moment. How's Connor? Dead. I'm in command. That was payback for my good news, wasn't it? We're approaching the gravimetric anomaly. I don't recommend we go in there at warp. There appears to be a large concentration of singularities forming in the anomaly. Gravimetric shear is increasing. Go to impulse, Lieutenant. Take us in. Maybe the Arkans won't follow. They must be insane to go in there. The singularity formation zone is a class 9 anomaly. They'll be torn apart. Their ship is more maneuverable. Have our ships fan out around the zone. We'll wait for them to come out. This anomaly, it seems to be a breeding ground for black holes. The computer's having difficulty plotting a course through the singularity field. They're shifting position too quickly for the computer to navigate a course. Do it manually, Lieutenant. Stadi, are they still on our tail? No, they're not following us. They're circumnavigating the field, positioning themselves on all sides. The Arkan flagship is now directly ahead. Waiting for us to come out. Course, Captain. We're not going back. New singularity to port. Helm, evasive course. Structural integrity down to 72%. We can't stay in here much longer, sir. Road to Talora, what's your status? I'm tracking down a break in the Matrix Relay. I can only give you a partial cloak right now. Unless I find the source of that break, your cloak is about as worthless as a Riemann politician. How much time? Five minutes. Hull buckling on deck 31! You've got three minutes. Helm, I had full out of the anomaly. Black hole dead ahead! Sir, if we reverse full and hard to port... No, maintain full speed. Hard to starboard. Excellent news, Machan. They're leaving the anomaly, and they're headed right for our grim. Ready a tractor beam, have boarding parties standing by. We're clear, Captain. Engineering, bring the warp core back online. Helm, prepare to go to maximum warp. To Laura, you're out of time. Engineering, now. Cloaking device. Full tachyon sweep. I've got nothing. Alex? Sensors show a system five light years away, sir. Alter course. 
We'll make repairs there. Aye, sir. You all did well, under extreme circumstances, especially our engineering team. Mr. Gillen, Subcommander Talora, your cloaking device saved us all. But our present safety is where the good news ends. We've lost half of our command crew, including our captain and first officer. Dr. Vaughn, I need you to coordinate funeral arrangements with the ship's counselor. Sorry, Captain. The ship's counselor didn't make it. On your own, then. We are all on our own out here. Starfleet may send a ship, and they may not. The Arkan threat to our homeworld is over, for now. But we are deep into enemy territory, with no present means to get home. And that is a sobering prospect. I cannot replace the captain, or the first officer, or the ship's counselor. But per Starfleet protocol, I will take over for them. And with that authority, comes the authority to make this crew whole again. Ensign Gillen, your chief engineer. Subcommander Talora, your first officer. I need you to fill these roles. This crew needs us. As for the ship's counselor, we're all gonna have to help each other out in that regard. What will we do now, sir? Where do we go from here? We'll have to stay near Arkan space for now. If Starfleet sends a ship, this will be the first place they look. But we can't count on a rescue. We have to start fending for ourselves, finding resources, making allies, to continue our mission, Starfleet's mission. So bold, so noble. Did you have something to add, Commander? We are half a crew, and of that, half just out of the womb. Now is not the time to be pursuing noble missions of peace and exploration. There is no Starfleet out here, no Federation ideals. I suggest we start playing our full hand. Your suggestion is noted, Subcommander. You all have your orders. Begin repairs immediately. Dismissed. A moment, Subcommander. I welcome your opinions. I value your experience in combat and your decorated service to the Romulan Empire. But don't question my authority in front of the crew again. Do we have an understanding? Aye, aye, Captain. Dismissed. Enter. I've reorganized the security department. Instead of four shifts of 30, there's three shifts of 20. Everybody else who's not dead got assigned to damage control. Thanks, Maya. Do you mind me calling you that? You're the captain. You can call me you scallywag if you like, sir. I forget sometimes. <laughs> Don't forget in front of Talora. She'd be happy to take command and start overthrowing governments to forge a new empire on her own. You didn't get that from reading her body language, did you? Not this time. You know, Maya, we can't just go throwing out our values like that. Don't do that again. Do what, sir? Reading her mind like that. We can't throw out Starfleet now that we're on our own. But she's right, you know? We need to find the right balance. Breaking to Laura's private thoughts. We're not there yet. We need to be on the lookout for deuterium and antimatter. Something tells me the Arkans aren't just gonna drop off a tanker when we're running low. And we burned up a lot of fuel on the way over. Sir? Yeah. Do you think we'll get back? We're Starfleet, Maya. Where there's a will, there's a way. Do you believe that? I want to. I want to see Aster again. Dismissed.
personal log. Start it. 61125.8. I am the storm tossed man. But unlike the great Odysseus, I've got thousands of Trojans at my back. Marooned in this strange place. How long will we wander before we find our way home? Will Corey be there? Will he recognize me? I have to try. I owe it to the crew. I never thought I would pray to a prophet. And yet I find myself calling the prophet so far away. May the wind be at our backs, vigor in our hearts, and luck on our side. And so the journey begins. <laughs>